In this video, I will tell you how to create a navigation bar with centered logo. I will use Elementor Pro with no other third party plugin. And also there is a bonus tip for you in this video. So watch this video completely to follow all the steps. Assalamu alaikum and hi guys. Welcome to my channel. My name is Adnan Ahmed, a self-taught web developer from Pakistan. If this is the first time you are visiting my channel, please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon so you get the notification whenever I upload a video in the future. Okay, let's start building the navigation menu. Okay, this is the sample uh, website where I'm going to default menu by the template to the one uh, where the logo will be in the center and there are two uh, menus one on the right and one on the left hand side of the logo for this i need to create uh, two menus uh, so i am going to menu section here you can see the default menu i am leaving it behind i am going to create a new one i will call it maybe header menu left then click on the create menu uh, once it is it is created I am going to place some uh, uh, page links in it uh, maybe home about and maybe the services page and click on the add menu save it okay next uh, I am going to create another and call it header menu right click on the create menu and then add the pages uh, like before projects blog and contact click add to menu this will be added and then click on the save menu once uh, these two menus are created uh, you need to click on the templates and click on add new now I am going to select a section from here which is called header and name it anything let's say uh, header for site and click on create template uh, I am going to click on the cross and I'm going to add my own section here click on this plus icon and this should be three column okay so the width of the first column will be 40 percent uh, middle where we are going to place the logo I will make it 10 percent and so both will be around 40 percent left and right section will be 40 percent uh, middle one will be the 10 percent okay uh, maybe uh, sorry uh, we make it 20 percent now 40 on the left 40 on the right and 20 in the middle okay now i am first setting that's logo click on the plus section or you will see a uh, widget provided by the elementor which is called side logo I am dragging it and dropping it in the center column okay this is not the logo uh, we actually want but uh, leave it for now uh, I will uh, tell you later how to change it so next add a menu here uh, the left menu for this I need to pick that uh, uh, widget nav menu provided in the elementor dragging it and dropping it here okay uh, so it picked the right one okay I am making some adjustment uh, let's say uh, we make it uh, horizontal center for this I need to click align and center and you can change those uh, uh, fonts or maybe the colors also okay, I am changing the color to black and, and for the right menu uh, you can follow the same step or you can right click on this pencil icon and copy it and then click on this uh, right column and then paste so menu is here the same left menu now I'm going to change it to right menu from this option and here is the uh, right menu so update it and now the preview that uh, header here and to see uh, how it is looking on the page 
you need to go that uh, home page maybe okay you are here now now I am going to change this logo for this I need to go customize then I need to click on that uh, header menu from here uh, you need to click on the site identity and here you can change the uh, logo okay, I have the one uh, which was already showing I'm selecting it again I'll skip cropping and likewise I am changing this publish it okay the logo is too large uh, we can adjust it going back to this uh, uh, template section of the elementor refreshing this so we can see the new logo again okay now from here i am just adjusting its max width so the height will be proportion to it i think this looks good if you want to make it a bit larger maybe the 14 max width will be fine okay now you can see uh, those uh, menus are top line we can change them uh, i'm clicking on this uh, edit section button and then i am clicking on this option vertical line and make it middle so everything will be middle line uh, updating it and then go to the home page again and you can see uh, how it is looking so this is uh, the navigation bar uh, with the logo in the center now you can see what happened if we uh, resize the browser window to see how it will look on the uh, mobile devices okay now you see uh, both of those uh, two menus are converted to the toggle button uh, which shows for the uh, mobile menu uh, it is not uh, very good uh, we have to make it one menu uh, containing all the menu section so here is the bonus tip uh, how we can do it uh, I am showing uh, the way uh, which work for me and maybe there is some other way but uh, I think uh, this is the uh, best way which I figure out so for this uh, what I have to do uh, I have to go back to the uh, elementor template section okay uh, now i am going to do i am duplicating this uh, uh, menu section which we already created okay now uh, what i am going to do i am deleting one of the menu which may be the left one and uh, change this uh, uh, right menu or uh, before that uh, what we can do we make it uh, uh, we can make it again a uh, 20% and this one is 80% now okay the menu uh, we need to change uh, we are going to use that default menu which we already saw now it is containing all those items mm, we can uh, align it uh, maybe the right align we can use okay here it is now what we are going to do uh, for desktop uh, we are hiding this menu for this you need to click on this section uh, which is the uh, second menu section and then clicking on the advanced and go into the responsive option here you can hide it for the desktop okay now what will happen this menu will not show on the desktop but on the tablet and mobile uh, this menu will show and for the previous menu uh, which is for the desktop what we need to do click on this section and go into advanced and then responsive option and just make it uh, visible on the desktop and hide on the tablet and hide on the mobile and update it now we are going to refresh this page you are not seeing that uh, full menu with the logo on the left but when we are going to resize it now you see 
uh, you have that toggle button on the right hand side uh, we can make some adjustment like we can adjust it this toggle button should go on the very right of the navigation bar we can change it and for this i'm just going to template section again i am clicking no we can't click it so what we need to do right click on that uh, edit section and you will see the navigator option here here you can see uh, what we have uh, on this template i am clicking on this nav bar and then i am clicking on this option under the content which is toggle align right and updating again you can resize or one um, other thing you can try you can open that uh, inspect menu here and change to some mobile layout iphone okay now here is the problem um, the menu is on the bottom and logo is on the uh, top we can change it also i am going to this section uh, column section i am making it 50 uh, percent uh, before that i am going to change it to the mobile and then i am making it 50 percent this section i need to change it 50 percent for mobile and just click save refresh it again now this is uh, good okay now you can see uh, this uh, menu is full width and uh, just um, under the logo you can uh, make your own customization also uh, you can change the colors etc uh, background you can change it okay in the next video uh, i will show you uh, how to make this uh, navigation bar transparent uh, so you can see that uh, banner behind it and uh, do some more customization uh, till now uh, i think it will work uh, uh, as we have to uh, i want to do do okay guys hopefully you enjoyed the video if you like the content please give me a thumbs up do you have any questions please write in the comments and until next video take care